Once upon a time in a village, there was a very skillful person called Gamba. She was the best worker in the village and Gamba and number 39's reputation spread throughout the region. That and number 39's why she and number 39's always proud of herself, as she always holds her head high when she goes out and does an and hash 39. T need to pay attention to anyone. One day Gamba and number 39's sister asked her, and quat. 8. Can you lend me your embroidery needle? And quat. 8 is the Filipino language used to call a sister in the most respectful way. It can be used alone or before a person and number 39's first name. It is pronounced ate. But Gamba became extremely angry and shouted, and quat. Stay away from me. And Don and number 39. T even think about borrowing my embroidery. You will only ruin it and Don and number 39. T have enough money. And quat. I can and number 39. T pay for it. Leave it there. And quat. The poor sister cried because her older sister treated her so badly. She felt like Gamba didn't and hash 39, T see her as a sister. Actually, living with a sister like Gamba is extremely difficult. She wished her sister could treat her and everyone around her kindly. After a while, it was Gamba and number 39, S younger brother and number 39, S turned to ask her for help. And quat. 8. Can you sew my worn out shirt? And quat, and quat, number? I don and number 39. T have anything else to wear? I only have this shirt. And quat, Gamba continued to roar. And quat, go away. Do you know that you are bothering me? Go and ask your mother, please. She will fix your shirt. That old woman is very free and has nothing to do. Go, and quat. When she heard her daughter and number 39, s arrogant and extremely impertinent words, Gamba and number 39, s mother was very angry. She just wanted to slap her daughter to teach her a lesson about respecting others, but in the end she didn't and hash 39. T do this. Instead, she just said, and quat, that and number 39, s more than enough gamba. That and number 39, s it. And quat, is your job and duty. That is the way to also show love and kindness to the children. And quat, she continued to scold her daughter, and quat, not only them, you also have to treat them kindly and help them. And quat, help others when they need it. And quat, but Gamba pretended not to hear what her mother had just said. She continued weaving and weaving. One night when it was time for dinner, Gamba and number 39's mother called her down to eat. But the response was only a grumpy, and quat, what? Mom, do you know you and number 39? Re bothering me again? And quat. Don and number 39. T. You see I haven and number 39. T. Finished weaving yet? And quat. The mother said kindly. And quat. You make me worry too much. Because if you work too hard and miss meals, you will get sick. And quat. This time Gamba rudely replied. And quat. That and number 39. S. None of my business. And quat. However, Gamba and number 39. S. Mother still slowly explained. And quat. Skipping your meals is a sin against God. Because you refused his grace. I know that. And quat. Still with an angry voice, Gamba shouted loudly. And quat. What sin? And whether I am guilty or not, I don and number 39, T care. 
I repeat once again, leave me alone and let me do what I do. And quat, I should do it. And quat, the mother burst into tears and said, and quat, I hope God will forgive you. And quat, the mother then returned to the dining table. Both of Gamba and number 39's younger siblings witnessed her bad behavior towards their mother. At this time, her younger sister was extremely upset. She mumbled in her mouth with a wish. And quat. I wish I would have to weave for the rest of my life and quat. Her younger brother also added, and quat. Yes, I also wish that. I wish she could just weave, weave, weave. And quat. And then everyone was extremely surprised when God heard their wish. With a strong and determined voice, he angrily told Gamba, and quat, with the talent I gave you, you have become too arrogant. You do not know how to love and treat your brothers and sisters kindly and even to those who need my help. I also Don and number 39. T know how to respect a mother who is responsible for raising me and I Don and number 39. T even have a place for her in my heart. And quat, and quat, it does an and hash 39. T stop there, Grace. The favor that I gave you at the dinner table was also rejected by you. Therefore, your punishment is that you will have to weave any time, anywhere throughout your life. And quat, as God finished speaking, Gamba suddenly disappeared from the palace. Where you are sitting. Instead, there was the appearance of a strange creature. This animal was weaving spider webs right at Gamba and number 39's chair. Witnessing that scene, the mother was extremely painful at her daughter and number 39's fate. She cried for her child and wished that if only her daughter had learned to love and respect everyone, then this would not have happened. But all she can do now is caress the little animal. Baby and called his daughter and number 39's name and quat. Gamba, Gamba and quat. From then on, people called this creature and quat. Gagamba and quat. Which in Tagalog means. But unlike Gamba, this animal does not weave fabric with a thread, but it creates a spider web from its own body. Thank you for joining us for today's fairy tale. We hope these stories bring joy and meaning to your day. If you love our channel, please hit the subscribe button so you won't miss any exciting tales. Wishing you a good night and sweet dreams. See you in the next story.